Okay, I'm trip down memory lane. Uh, we, me and Wolfgang, did a trip up north to London, and we needed, of course, to see Highbury. And we knew there's at least a subway stop, even called Arsenal, if I'm not uh, completely mistaken. And we wanted to really see because um, we, when we watched Arsenal Champions League games. Uh, the commentator, the Austrian commentator said, yeah, you get out of the station, there's the stadium right there. And it was not that case. And we were kind of, ah, yeah, yeah, typically, typically, typically commentator. So, of course, we had to go to the store and I got my Arsenal shirt. And as I said, of the ones that I have, of the Premier League shirts, this is the one I wear most. Uh, because it's, yeah, our, our Arsenal is going a little bit down these days, but I still find a that it's the team that I find myself liking most in England. Although, yeah, we're getting to the point where I maybe am switching to other teams. Uh, but yeah, Arsenal is one of those. Uh, actually, the one I liked most and now they got relegated is <laughs> Stoke City. Slash Lemmy is from there. So yeah, that's the obvious connection. This for me is... I know it's not a classic Arsenal style, but this is uh, in a way a very classic Arsenal shirt. It just has the red base and the white sleeves. I always wondered why they put it all up here. It was also my first Nike jersey that I had. Then you had the um, navy striping here. I think at the time this was contentious. Now I think everyone would be happy. I like the shirt collar with the v-neck. The one thing I don't like is that, and I should have when I bought this one, and it still bothers me, that you see here the color doesn't cover very well here that's the one thing i don't like about this shirt of course i got the premier league patches i didn't get a name on there and it's the classic dreamcast sponsor dreamcast who remembers that one and it also has the classic arsenal crest i love this one i know they had copyright issues but i love this one for me, uh, for that reason, Arsenal always had the coolest crest of all the Premier League teams for me. And I, speaking of crests, I think the classic Premier League crests are the best in Europe. They are, there's the most thought, this is the most, her yeah, it looks like a coat of arms of a country. Those are the best in all of Europe. And that's what I always liked about uh, English uh, jerseys. Now, uh, of course, Spain for me is second, and then it's probably somewhere between Italy and France. And the Bundesliga, sorry to say, of the big five, is has the most boring logos. They are the most modern ones in many ways. Yeah, but again, very nice jersey. Um, again, and I like this. I would like to wear this a lot. Also, it's um, one of the two jerseys that I use. There's a, my wife's from Bulgaria, and there's this holiday at the be uh, beginning of March where you wear white and red. That's the one that I pull out uh, every other year. The other one is Ajax, of course, which is a little bit more fitting to the holiday. But yeah, really nice jersey. Like that one a lot. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.